Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss one more numerical where we have to determine whether the following system is linear, stable, causal, and time invariant or not. Fine. The difference equation is given as y of n is equal to n into x of n plus x of n plus two plus y of n minus two. Okay. So basically, you should be aware about one rule. Okay, so if the discrete time system is described by difference equation, okay, and the time invariance can be found by observing the coefficients of the difference equation. In the last lecture also, I have covered this in one of the example, but here I am giving you the theory. Fine. So how you can identify the whether the system is time invariant or not by seeing the coefficients of the difference equation. how so first point you have to focus here so if all the coefficients of the difference equation are constants then it means our system is what time invariant and if even one of the coefficient is a function of time then the system is what time variant let's understand this by the help of example so first i am going to check this only whether the system is what time invariant or not so the equation is given as y of n is equal to n into x of n plus x of n plus 2 plus y of n minus 2 now focus on the coefficient of x of n what is the coefficient n right so the coefficient of x of n is not a constant it is n it means what the coefficient of x of n is a function of time right you can say the coefficient of x of n is what basically it is a function of time so if it is a function of time so it is what time varying system so this particular system is what this particular system is time variant system easy right just remember the rule and it is easy for you if the difference equation is given fine now let's go for the second check whether the system is linear or non linear so we already know y of n is equal to this so for an input x1 of n what will be the output y1 of n right which will be equal to what n into x1 of n plus x1 of n plus 2 plus y1 of n minus 2 clear now for an input x2 of n so y2 of n is equal to what n into x2 of n plus x2 of n plus 2 plus y2 of n minus 2 clear okay now we have to calculate the weighted sum of the outputs means basically you have to calculate a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n y1 of n and y2 of n we have already calculated here so just use it here so it will become what it will become a1 into n x1 of n plus x1 of n plus 2 plus y1 of n minus 2 right plus a2 into n into x2 of n plus x2 of n plus 2 plus y2 of what n minus 2 clear now i'm going to modify a bit i'm going to take the n terms together like n I took common, then it becomes what a one into x one of n plus from here I am taking this term, so a two into x two of n. Clear? Now plus so a one into x one of n plus two plus a two into x two of n plus two. Now let's go for the third term plus. 
a1 वन इंटू वाई वन ऑफ एन माइनस टू प्लस ए टू इंटू वाई टू ऑफ एन माइनस टू होप इट इज क्लियर टू यू ओके सो दिस इज वॉट बेसिकली दिस इज बेसिकली द वेटेड सम ऑफ आउटपुट्स जस्ट नोट दिस राइट इट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू टू कंपेयर नाउ so now let's move to the next and check the output due to weighted sum of inputs so when you calculate the output due to weighted sum of inputs so basically y3 of n so this will be equal to what we have n right into x of n so now in the place of x of n you input will be what a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n plus x2 of n plus 2 is there in the original expression so now it will be what a1 into x1 of n plus 2 plus a2 into x2 of n plus 2 clear plus the last term is what y of n plus 2 so now it will be a1 into y1 of n minus 2 yeah y of n minus 2 right plus a2 into y2 of n minus 2 hope it is clear to you now if you see y3 of n is equal to a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n so we can say that our system is what linear system it is what a linear system hope it is clear to you now fine let's move to the next and check for the stability so whether the system is stable or unstable fine so to check the stable t of the system so suppose the input is what input is del of n so for x of n is equal to del of n what will be the output y of n is equal to h of n so just in this equation replace y of n with h of n so h of n becomes what n into what is the input del of n plus del of n plus 2 plus h of n minus 2 clear now you should be aware about this and this behavior so del of n is 1 when n is equal to 0 and del of n plus 2 is 1 when n is equal to minus 2 and rest of the places it is 0 so you should aware about this too so it will be easy for you to solve this question clear now let's calculate h of minus 2 let's calculate this one by one so h of minus 2 i took one instance so it becomes what n del of minus 2 this n is also what minus 2 so minus 2 into del of minus 2 plus del of minus 2 plus 2 becomes 0 plus h of minus 2 minus 2 becomes minus 4 now you know for n is equal to minus 2 we are at this instance this particular term will give you what 1 it means this will give you 1 so overall we got what 1 here right rest of the term is what 0 0 now let's calculate h of 0 so h of 0 means what basically so 0 into del of 0 plus del of n plus n plus 2 means 0 plus 2 right 0 plus 2 plus h of 0 minus 2 means minus 2 right it is clear now we already know at n is equal to 0 instance this del of n will give you 1 but because of this 0 0 multiplied by 1 is what 0 basically and this term will give you 0 so pending term is what h of minus 2 so if you go here it will be 0 plus 0 plus h of minus 2 gives you what 1 so 1 overall we got 1 right now let's calculate h of 1 so h of 1 will be what 1 into del of 1 plus del of 3 plus h of 1 minus 2 minus 1 right so if you see at n is equal to 1 this term is not defined it will give you 0 this will also give you 0 and h of minus 1 is not there right so this is also 0 so overall we got what 0 clear now h of 2 calculate h of 2 right so h of 
becomes what 2 into del of 2 plus del of 4 plus h of 0. So at n is equal to 2 also this term is not defined this term is not defined right we are talking about this two term now pending is h of 0 h of 0 is already 1 we know so we can write 1 here you can calculate h of minus 1 okay at h of minus 1 also you will get 0 don't worry fine that's why overall 0 this becomes what 1 clear now you can calculate h of 3 with the same logic you will get what 0 you can calculate h of 4 you will basically get what 1 right in this case so you can do this calculation from your end okay hope it is clear to you so basically basically what will happen when you sum up this so when you do a summation summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity del of h of n so you will get 1 plus 1 plus right you will get basically something like this 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 something basically you will get overall infinity that is our agenda we will get infinity if you go further if you will calculate you will get one instances also many times so overall you will get what infinity so if it is infinity then the system is what basically unstable system unstable system right hope it is clear to you so you can do this calculation if you want you can go further but basically you you have to just capture the pattern once the pattern is captured it is easy for you to analyze fine that what will going to happen i have ignored the zero term here this zero zero here i took only one one so addition of infinite one is what infinite basically so it means what the system is what unstable okay now i am checking for causal or non-causal signal so y of n is equal to what this particular case right this is the equation given if you go for y of 2 instance means at n is equal to 2 what will be the equation n into x of 2 plus x of 4 plus y of 2 minus 2 0 so boss if you see here you are at n is equal to 2 instance but you want x of 4 it means future input is required future input is required if the future input is required it means what our system is non-causal system non-causal that's all so overall we calculated everything system is linear unstable non-causal and it is time variant so hope it is clear to you so if you have any doubt related to this numerical you will ask in the comment section thanks for watching